Welcome back guys, JC here, and here is how you connect the D4R2 to the Flip32 Omnibus F3 and F3 Pro. I'll be covering both in the same video. If you guys have the F4 version, whether it's the normal one or the Pro, this video is not for you. I'm actually making separate videos just for the F4 versions because they require a little bit different setup. But either way, and this goes for everyone, look in the top right of your screen and description below for links to the Omnibus playlist and you should be able to find the videos that you need, as well as other helpful videos. So let's begin. On the uh, Omnibus, if we look up here, here are the input pins. And this goes for both the uh, normal one and the Pro. But the pins are up here. You want your signal wire to go towards the inside, power in the middle, and ground on the outside. I just soldered on a three wire servo cable. Uh, if you want to use pin headers you can and just use a cable like this with the connectors on both ends. It's up to you. Going to the D4R2, uh, this is set in PWM mode right now, meaning we would have to have a signal wire on each channel. Um, for only four channels, but that's not going to work either way because this does not accept a PWM receiver. Uh, so you want to take this jumper that came with the D4R2 and plug it in on the signal wires or pins for channels three and four. This will convert it to PPM, meaning we will get eight channels now all out of one signal wire. Now just take the three wire cable and plug it in in the same order with signal on the outside, ground towards the inside. Now let's talk about telemetry. Uh, for you normal F3 board guys, uh, I've got your, or this wire is going to this pin. Um, I hope you can see which one that is. For you uh, pro version guys, uh, all right, so the original we see right here, the pin that I'm using is TX1 and that is the transmit pin for UART number one. And then just to the right of that is UART number two. And you can use UART two for any other device you want. We're not using it in this video. For you pro guys now, you will have a connector on the side and that's going to be this connector here. And your uh, transmit pin is the third pin down on that connector. Or you can also use UART number two, which is on this other side, this six pin connector. And you would use TX2, which is the second pin down. Uh, just a FYI, if you do need a harness, then uh, just go on eBay and do a search for JST, uh, either six pin or four pin, whichever connector you decide to use. Uh, but it's going to be JST 6-pin or 4-pin with a 1.0 millimeter spacing. And that will give you the harness that you need. Or if you want, you could use like a, a hot air gun or something and remove these connectors and just solder your wire directly to the pad if you're really good at soldering uh, because it is kind of small. Okay, so now we found the UART that we want to, for telemetry. Uh, the wire that I'm using is the 4-pin, four 4-wire four connector that came with the D4R2. And I just removed the three wires that we don't need. So if I plug it in on the side, you will see the only wire I'm using is the one on the corner. These three other wires, you can either cut them off or lift the tabs up and pull the wires out individually. Uh, that's up to you. So everything is wired now. Now if I plug in a USB cable, that will power the flight controller and receiver both. At this time, if you have not yet bound your receiver, you need to do that. Just look in my D4R2 or Tyrannus playlist and you will find a video showing you how to do that. Uh, once again, the links are in the description below. Now if I, uh, I've already bound mine, if I turn my transmitter on. Hey JC, welcome back. Cheat mode active. I now get the solid green light, meaning that it has been properly bound and everything is working. Once you get the saw green light, you can continue. So now we just want to go into Betaflight and connect. And this is where things will get a little confusing because this flight controller is different from uh, most others. 
First, let's go to ports. Let's talk about telemetry. Uh, for the original F3 Omnibus guys, you are not seeing UART number three, and it's there. I j I'll explain that in just a second. We're just worried about telemetry. So because we put telemetry on UART number one, what we want to do is first turn off the data because UART ports can only do one thing at a time. Uh, and this doesn't just go for telemetry, this goes for uh, anything really. Now, this is really confusing. Um, and because we can do this because this flight controller uses a virtual COM port instead of the CP2102-2104 driver. Um, on any other flight controller you can't do this. But anyway, we want to go to telemetry now and turn on free sky. For you F4 guys, I'm going to assume that you have used either the transmit on UART number one or UART number two. Whichever connector you decided to use, you need to turn telemetry on for that connector. Okay, so once we have telemetry turned on for the UART that you picked, you want to save and reboot. Now we need to turn on, well, if we go to configuration, on any other flight controller, because we're using the D4R2 in PPM mode, then everything would now already be working. But if I go to receiver and move my joysticks around, I'm not getting anything. And that's because we need to trick the system. Uh, so we need to turn on, we need to see UART number three. To do that, we want to turn on RX serial, which is something you would normally do on an S bus receiver and not this receiver. Uh, but just hear me out and uh, you'll, you'll see why. Then scroll down, while we are here, go ahead and turn on telemetry. Now save and reboot. Now go back to ports and you should now see UART number three. Once again, we want to turn on Serial RX, which is something you would normally do on only a SBUS receiver, but uh, just uh, just keep following along. I know this doesn't make any sense. It really doesn't, but now go back to configuration. And if you're, uh, if this didn't switch back to PPM, you need to switch it back. And if you did switch it back, remember to save and reboot again. Mine already switched back for me, so I don't need to save. And at this point, we can go to receiver and move your joysticks around and you should now see roll pitch y'all and throttle moving. If you have created any switches, you can test those out now. Things are about to get real. Hybrid mode. Stunt mode active. Cheat mode active. Okay, everything's working there. Now go to the Tyrannus, press menu to go to your model, hold down the page button to go backwards a page, scroll down and discover new sensors. Once it's done, press enter again to stop discovery, and there is all of your sensors. If you are only seeing four sensors, that means your telemetry is not working. Uh, you actually get telemetry from both the flight controller and receiver. Those four sensors are coming from the receiver, and uh, this, basically this means that you're, you will always get those four sensors as long as the receiver gets power, even if the telemetry wire is not connected to anything. This basically means if you have your telemetry wire on the wrong UART, or if you did not configure something in Betaflight correctly, then that would keep you from getting telemetry. So uh, the only fix is just to go back, recheck your wiring, recheck your settings in Betaflight, uh, also make sure everything's saved, sometimes it doesn't, and that's going to be the fix, and that's really the only fix. And that's going to do it for this one, guys. So like I said, check out those playlists for the other videos, and I will see you there.